guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is charity and today we are going to be reacting to seeing what dating at 30 plus looks like okay so let's go ahead and check it out what looking for love at 30 plus looks like and it's horrific it, not really horrific but but sometimes it's like damn so tell me what it's like dating in your 40s oh shit i've been waiting on this one First off, good morning, my chocolate kings and queens, my butter pecan, princes and princesses, my mayonnaise monarchs, good morning. Okay, interesting, what? okay, that's about everyone then. Dating in your 40s is amazing. As a matter of fact, I do not believe that they should allow people to date at all before they turn 35. It's a fucking scam before the end. Shit should totally be illegal. It's like going to your high school reunion and running into the girl you've been wanting to fuck since then. Every day you get to start with a, a built-in memory bank. You guys remember a lot of the same shit. It's like you've been knowing each other for forever and you just met this morning. Both of y'all remember a time with no internet. Both of y'all remember CDs. Both of y'all remember beepers. Yeah, and that's why I'm making this one. That part there kind of hit home. It's like, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. It's like, you know, when something's true so much, it kind of hurts. It's like, yo, uh, calm down, bro. You, you're hurting my feelings for no reason. Say so always sound like you're catching up on old times. How you yeah. been? If you got kids, how your children doing? They doing okay? How your mom and them doing? They yeah, always oh gonna throw God. in at least one horrible piece of information and one body part that's randomly hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh I my God. Not. So I'm not yet 40, nearly there, <laughs> but interesting, phantom pains. I do hear people, you know, 30 plus talking of their phantom pains and they don't know where the pain comes from. It could be forgetfulness. It could be forgetfulness. And some people get older, they probably just start forgetting how they got hurt. You know, Keisha got COVID. Mm-hmm. My back ain't been feeling right since I left the gym. And last mm -hmm. but not least, <laughs> women 35 and above are always horny, bro. Listen. Yeah, indeed. I've made this point a few times before, and I know, you know, to some people, it's wrong. Oh, don't say that. Why? Okay, but seriously, in terms of being reasonable, you know, as a person, I think it's I think it's one of a few reasons. One, because they've become comfortable with themselves by then. If they haven't, it's like, okay, that's still weird. Two, some are running out of time in terms of probably having a baby. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just yeah. saying I could be wrong. <laughs> And then three, but there's more, but three, some just don't care anymore. Some just don't care anymore. Many of the inhibitions many women had in probably their, their 20s and early 30s. Yeah, that's gone out of the window. And possibly because some don't get as much attention. So it's like, yeah, whichever man wants it can get it because not many men are pursuing it. I don't know. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious, but I'm, I'm a knob sometimes. Always horny, bro. Watch this. Pop quiz. Put a finger down. Women 35 and up edition. Put a finger down if you're hungry right now. Put a finger down if you think about how to get this money right now. Best one. Put a finger down if you're horny right now. Every woman 35 and up is sitting here looking like, all you got to do is feed them, be funny, and fuck them. It's amazing. Egg. All you got to do is feed them, be funny, and fuck them. It's amazing. Exactly. Exactly my point. I've been saying that for so long. You can think I'm wrong and sexist. No, no. And that's not even just older women. Younger women just add entertain them as well to it. Just keep them occupied, you know, with something. I don't know. If you're a grown man dating a chick in her 20s, buy her a Switch. Buy her a Nintendo Switch. Get her hooked to that so she can leave you alone. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm just saying, don't do that. Don't give Nintendo any more money. All you got to do is feed them, be funny, and fuck them. It's amazing. <laughs> And easy. Look at this tiny little banana I found. He's so small and tiny. He's just a little. Ma'am, that is an average sized banana. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the original clip a long time ago, but I couldn't find it. I didn't remember what it was called. But oh, yeah, this wait. is funny. As an average sized banana, you just have extremely large hands. So in other words, oh it's her God. massive gorilla palms <laughs> that are making that giant banana look so tiny. As an average sized banana, you just have extremely large hands. <laughs> Fit check. Um, the sweatpants are your dad's. The shoes are from Chanel. The sweatshirt is from a school I went to, but I dropped out because it wasn't challenging enough for me. Um, the wow. cat. The cat is from the street. Like you. Apparently oh she's too gosh. smart for Harvard <laughs> and she loves to collect pussy off the street. No. Then she's like a lot of men. But seriously. Yeah, that's it. The cat is from the street. I'm going to stop doing these jokes. I, I can't help myself, but I'm going to stop. I'm trying. But she seems somewhat up herself, doesn't she? Uh, the nail is from New Year's. We just have one. The acne is from stress and cheese. And then my rings are just from Amazon. I have no idea I what this video like is about. I think she's possibly like, describing herself. It? Someone possibly asked her what you like okay uh the nail is from new year's we just have one 
The acne is from stress and cheese. And then my rings are just from Amazon. Oh, how exciting. I, I have no idea, but let's carry on. And here's just a I mean, bored woman, nothing better to do. So she's roasting the way British people talk. Foreigners should enjoy this. British people be like, it's Tuesday, isn't it? Uh -huh, uh -huh, funny. <laughs> British uh -huh. people watching Spider-Man be like, Peter Parker. <laughs> 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 That's so wrong. <laughs> Y'all know it. British people be like, can I get a bowel of water? <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> Spell it like This woman that. is evil. British people get mad and be like, are you fucking stupid? <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Just uh, whatever. <laughs> British people getting stabbed and be like, aye there, mate. Bit rude to put that knife in me chest, in it. <laughs> It's the in it for me. The oh my it. god. Like, what's wrong oh my with god. people? I have no response. It's, it's just us. so rude. Like, we, really? Are you, you fucking stupid? Alright, <laughs> there, mate. A bit rude to put that knife in my chest, in it. Yeah, that's probably what you'd hear in London, to be honest. I'm joking. <laughs> What you looking at? The same goddamn thing you're looking at, Billy Bob. The fucking Soul Snatcher 3000 right there. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I like that one. I like that one. The fucking Soul Snatcher 3000 right there. She looks like this. She's probably evil. That's okay. <laughs> the Soul Snatcher 3000. Interesting. Damn. You're the type of chick that will ruin your life, but you know, to some degree, you may let her. Standard issue. Comes equipped with credit card debt and really bad life decisions. Oh. You can also upgrade that package to premium, which comes with I drank 13 white claws and still don't feel anything. And if you want the gold membership, that's going to cost you the house, probably a truck and your favorite bass boat. That comes standard with all men are the same. So I'll say again, Gary, we're all staring at a fucking alpaca hook. That is hot. Hot girls are only hot when they leave the house. Some men don't get that. I think it's only a small amount of men that, you know, don't get it. And they really believe some chicks look the way they show you on the I internet. Like oh, eyebrows. yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. You look that cute. Hey, when we're at home, we are lubed and lathered, okay? If you ain't looking like you're from 1692 and you haven't had a bath in five months, I, you don't get it. Yeah, that's kind of nasty. So long as she doesn't smell like she's from 1962 and that she hasn't had her wash in five or six months however long she said that's yeah whatever but yeah backstage chick the mean. backstage chick i you don't get it public service announcement i have a good job i pay for this place by myself i can make myself orgasm i'm warm enough at night by myself in my own bed i feed myself i can fix my own wi-fi i love my own company i'm fucking cool you're trying to convince yourself or your audience so if i choose to have you in my life it's because i want you i don't need you and if I'm speaking to you or talking to you, you're the only person I'm talking to. You know, as a man, that sounds cute. That sounds so nice, doesn't it? It sounds so nice. Now, a lot of men would believe it. A lovely woman has everything she needs. She can cater to herself in many ways. Okay, indeed. Nice. Interesting. However, as she says, for her to have you in her life is because she wants you in her life. She doesn't need you. No, <laughs> she doesn't need you as a man. Please. You wish. I can make myself orga orga orgasm. <laughs> So in other words, be humble. Humble yourself if she chooses to have <laughs> you in her life and you will be the only man she's talking to. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That is so cute. Because like everything else in my life, if I deem you valuable enough to put time into, I'm going to give that 100%. That way, if it doesn't work out, that's on you. What? I can make myself orgasm. Wow. Wow. Interesting. It couldn't possibly be on you, woman. I'm fucking cool. Somewhat entitled, standing in your bath. It's a nice bathtub, by the way. If I was a broke dude that needed to live under you, I'd be impressed, but I'm not. So like you've just said, <laughs> it's like many men think as well. I'm fucking cool. Shut up, bitch. If I choose to have you woman in my life, like this random woman standing in a bath, the thing that some modern women don't understand is some men aren't impressed. Some modern men aren't impressed. Like, I'm not impressed. Who's impressed? What, by your money? The fact you've worked hard and done everything for yourself? Oh, that's nice. It's cute. Yeah, whatever. I have a good job. Nobody cares. I pay for this place by myself. Nobody cares. I can make myself orgasm. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Can you woman? Can you woman? Damn. Shut up.
I'm saying too much. Seriously, can you woman? Yes, some men can be impressed by what you have. They may want to smash you and think, oh, she's got a nice house. Yeah, whatever. Some other men, it's like, what, you're just another chick. You're just another chick. Not what I'm saying, but what some men would see and how some men think. Again, women seem to think they have this, oh, I have everything I need. I don't need a man. So if I have a man in my life, it's because I choose to have one. It's as if women don't think men think the same way. And it's like men haven't been thinking that way for a long time. Yes, we have. Some modern women are just catching up to that thought process and to understand look if a man has money he has everything he needs woman you should be lucky he has you in his life so again what you're saying is impressive to some men some men don't care you're just a chick in a bath talking holding a box of is that cookies Nobody cares. god knows but he's, yeah, it's not that impressive not impressed try again well enough to put time into i'm gonna give that 100 percent. all right you guys i'm not gonna lie that video kind of had me on mute because i'm just looking like what the hell I guess that's what dating over the age of 30 looks like um, and the issues they have. So if you guys enjoyed that, please go ahead and smash that like button for me. <laughs> I will have the original linked at the top and down in the description box. So please be looking out for those. If you guys are new here, please go ahead and subscribe for me. If you guys have been here, hit that bell so you'll be notified the next time that I post. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time.